welcome you once again to Strength for Today. Amen. Um, we, it's just a, such a blessing to be able to come together once again. Thank God for his mercy and his grace, his love and kindness. Today our subject will be the hand of God. When we speak of the hand of God, we are speaking of uh, power, we, uh, authority, the hand of God. God's hand up on one's life is key. It's very important. A uh, verse of scripture is taken from Isaiah 41 and verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Glory to God. God is holding us up. <clears throat> Excuse me. In Isaiah 41 and 13, it says, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Oh, my goodness, the Lord is our, our, our helper. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. And he's upholding us. He's keeping us. Over in John 10, uh, Gospel of St. John, chapter 10, verse 29, it says, My father which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. We are in the hand of God. And our Heavenly Father, he's greater than anything. He's greater than all. He's greater than anything that could come against us. Glory be to God. Over in um, in Psalms uh, 139, in verse 7 through 10, it says, Whether shall I go from thy, from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy, from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me. And thy right hand shall hold me. In other words, there's no place that we can possibly go where God, is not, his hand is not upon our lives, where his hand is not holding us and leading and protecting and guiding us. So we are never alone. We are never alone. Over in Psalm 73 and 23, it's, it says, nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. God is holding us. Imagine that. We're, we're going, and God is holding us. God have us by our right hand. He's leading. He's directing us. Now, we see this in Psalms, but it's, it, it's even greater than that. It's greater than that. God, the spirit of the living God, is on the inside of us. He is guiding. He is leading. He is protecting and keeping us. In Psalm 16, 11, he said, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. At the right hand of God there are pleasures forevermore. Glory be to God at his right hand. And you know, the Bible says that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. And the Bible also says that we are seated in Christ Jesus. What a privilege, what an honor, what a place that God has given us. In Acts eleven twenty one, it says, And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. The hand of the Lord was with them. Just as it was with them, he's with us today. In Psalms 95 and 5, it says, The sea is his, and he made it. And his hand formed the dry land. Glory be to God. So the Bible also speaks to us and tells us the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof, and they who dwell therein. Now, listen to this, folks. We are the children of God. We are children of the Most High God. God the Father is our Father. He's much our Father as he is the Lord Jesus Christ's Father. I know it's so because he said in 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 the Gospel of Saint John in chapter twenty he when when he had, when he was raised from the dead and Mary Mag uh, Mary Magdalene was clinging to him holding to him just clinging to him and he said don't cling to me 
for I must ascend to my father. And then he said, go tell my brethren that I go to my father in their father, unto my God in their God. So what was he saying? He was saying that God the Father is as much our Father as he is his. Oh, my goodness. That, that, that is absolutely incredible. That the Heavenly Father, he is our Father as much as he is Jesus. Now, I know that's a hard thing to swallow. That's hard to see that. But is this the truth? I mean, it is exactly what the Word of God declares. Amen. So the hand of God is with us. The hand of God is up on us. So what does that mean? That means that we're special. That means that we are never alone. That means we cannot go in any place where, where it, it gets too rough, it's too hot. No, no, no. God's hand is up on us. We can never escape the presence of God. So that means that we are never alone. Saints of God, we are never alone. Never, never alone. He's always with us. And to God be the glory. To God be all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name.